Okay, I'm basically from India, from Kerala. Currently working on particle physics. You can also get it done in a short span of time. You don't have to take another part-time job. After all the taxes, you earn at about. Hi all, uh, welcome to Culture Connect channel. After a long time, today's video is all about uh, one of my friend who is here, Vidya. We Hello. have here, and she is actually doing her research in Hamburg, in the University of Hamburg, in mm -hmm. the field of physics. So she will be speaking all about her experiences and what is the process and all those so that makes it much more easier for people who really aspire and want to join or want to take their research future in germany so that's what it's all about so in a video on the tamil la panama we are planning to do it in english so that it is much useful for everyone so without further ado we'll get into some of the questions so thanks vidya for yeah, my pleasure uh, yeah for <laughs> joining for presenting mm -hmm. or giving interview after it been long time so enak me interview edukku marakra ma irukku so we will do it like this i will okay. hold it for you okay so thank you <laughs> so where are you from vidya first let's get to know about you then we'll get into your research yeah, yeah. where are you okay i am basically from india from kerala mm -hmm. and i did my masters uh, in india and for phd i moved to germany in hamburg Okay mm -hmm. and I'm currently working on particle physics mm -hmm. uh, at University of Hamburg uh, and like uh, collaborated with Daisy yeah. That's nice that's nice and uh, I just if you want to go a little bit back from your masters actually mm -hmm. where you completed the uh, in masters which mm -hmm. university you completed and little bit about your masters journey in India Okay uh, so I did my masters in Central University Karnataka mm -hmm. and um, so around that time for my thesis I started wo uh, working specifically in particle physics and my thesis was completely based on that and uh, also I started applying for PhD positions mm -hmm. um also pretty much in the same field and then I got uh, shortlisted for interviews and then that's how I cracked an interview and I got I came here for my okay. PhD That's yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, so in masters like mm -hmm. uh, as a part of the curriculum you're also supposed to do your internships mm -hmm. and uh, that is when I kind of had this interest towards research and and, uh, and th that's why also I made a decision to do a PhD and yeah that's okay. how I'm here. So uh, my next question was what was the driving factor <laughs> for you to yeah. do PhD but yeah. the answer was already been given. Yeah. That's good. But how do you got interest to do Uh, in physics as discipline most of the time i'm sure that you would also got a very good score in your uh, board exams mm -hmm. so generally when they have very good score they either go for doctor or else engineering mm -hmm. that's how it is in india mm -hmm. but how you were inclined to physics and thought of taking bsc in physics and to just uh, go up above it yeah, yeah uh, so first i should thank all <laughs> my school teachers and also my professors uh, because they instilled the interest in the subject for me and that's where i got the interest and soon as i completed my schooling there was yeah as you said there was this huge um, you know like um, drive towards engineering and doctor and i somehow didn't feel interested in any of those and mm -hmm. from you know grade 5 i've been liking physics so i thought maybe i should learn more about the subject and that's why i went to bachelor's and then masters and now phd Mm -hmm. Who is the famous scientist or the person anyone from physics background you like to Of course Einstein like okay. it's like common for everybody but I also like Feynman <laughs> Oh Feynman Yeah okay He kind of simple Richard Feynman Richard Richard Feynman, Richard Feynman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay so nice that's nice to hear mm -hmm. I just want to now redirect the questions into what's the time frame for PhD in Germany Okay that's a good question so usually it's from 3 to 4 years and depending on the group that you join you can also have some people also take 5 or 6 years to finish but mm -hmm. mostly the time span is from somewhere between 3 and 1/2 to 4 years and you are almost on the verge of completion yeah i'm right? yeah i'm i finished um, my i'm now like 3 and 1/2 years mm -hmm. and i'll be soon completing uh, okay yeah. and next question is uh, why you didn't continue your phd or apply for phd in india rather in germany Uh, okay so first of all um it's a different ball game if you apply to europe or any even france or italy for that matter because you have a very wide exposure mm -hmm. um and um, in india it's actually really very quite competitive and then you also take long long a time to complete um the phd so it's easily from 5 or more than 5 
six to seven years and all that mm-hmm. but in europe it's quite uh, short and not only that um you have you're actually exposed to like an international audience mm-hmm. here so you have a lot of international conferences to go to and um and any project most of the project that you do under a professor it's with some collaboration mm-hmm. uh, so these experiments are internationally collaborated so you uh, it's a different exposure altogether here mm-hmm. and um you can also get it done in a short span of time so that was one of the factors the major reason i would say time frame is one of the major yeah. reason right i also heard some 7 to 8 years is roughly the time takes in india to complete a phd mm-hmm. but it is like 3 to 4 years is yeah. what we can say which is really on an average yeah. on an average yeah uh, that's good and how is the process of application over here was it uh, what are the rounds you had yeah. when you apply for it can you just Yeah so basically there are several websites um like um indeed academics uh, I, i shall give you the website yeah. so you can put that in the description uh, so these are all websites where you can um search for phd job opportunities so you can put them in the filters and find them out and f- um, since i'm in particle physics especially in, in fields like that you have an separate website called inspire hep mm-hmm. where on a daily basis they keep um updating or putting advertisements of open positions and phds so basically you apply through them so you have to send fill in the application form send your resume and then they'll shortlist you for an interview mm-hmm. and if you crack the interview then you do uh, get the position and it's not as competitive as in india okay. if you just know your field of work say, mostly you will be questioned based on your master thesis and little bit basics in physics which i think any normal student can do so they'll actually test your caliber in the field that you've worked in mm-hmm. so it's very specific so i think it's not that difficult a task so it's better to sharpen the field in which you are working, working. on right exactly. or is doing your masters on yeah. and how about the next question is just a minute mm-hmm. the next question is how about the land language part where you mm-hmm. really want to master german to come over here or else it is like uh, you are going it with english yeah so since you are now in experiments which have international collaboration mm-hmm. english is more than enough you don't have to have any language test that's also one good thing about academia here mm-hmm. so um, you can also apply to france or italy and mm-hmm. still not know the language if you have a decent knowledge uh, or communicative skills mm-hmm. in english then that's more than enough okay so yours is a multicultural one yeah. so it is done in mostly in yeah. english it's done in english yeah. good and next one thing which i, I want sorry yeah. but how about knowing the regional language yeah. could mm. be an advantage so that you can also mingle with the people here mm. and they can include you as a part of yeah. Uh, yeah. the uh, their group so yeah yeah at least to create the rap or part right yeah. Yeah. how it's not mandatory yeah but i just now wanted to ask about the stipend how mm-hmm. is the stipend provided for a phd over here and uh, uh, will people able to manage without going for a part time job because mm-hmm. generally masters they go for part time job and they manage the finance but how about that taking care for doctorate yeah actually um, you don't have to take another part time job mm-hmm. so usually uh, you have academic phd's and industrial phd's mm-hmm. mostly academic uh, PhD we are paid according to E13 category okay. so for that um i think it would um after all the taxes you earn at about like 2.5 2500 a month mm. which is i think yeah, quite so enough for you to have yeah. a decent living yeah. and have savings uh, but in um however in academia you have certain percentage of this t13 mm-hmm. uh, sorry e13 level so which could be like 50% or 67% mm-hmm. and i think it's still you'll get mm. enough money to survive mm-hmm. so you don't have to take other part time jobs to support mm. yourself okay that's really yeah. good yeah, that's so you are totally focused on your phd yeah because yeah phd that. itself is it's a job <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's a full time job yeah, yeah. it's uh, even in uh, in the contracts you are an employee here ah. Uh, though you enjoy student benefits yeah. like you can get semester tickets and um things like that yeah. some uh, like added discounts of the student so you can enjoy uh, like as a student mm-hmm. and also That's still employee. employee so That's it's great. like you get the best of both worlds mm. and w- what is the pro- job prospects after you finish your phd where they can land up after finishing the phd so usually um uh, after phd you can still continue in academia and per- further pursue postdoc positions usually you get it in the same group as you do because mm-hmm. there there are always opening positions mm-hmm. or you can also go to the industry 
and because in industry you get like permanent position so mm. you get more stability there but in postdoc uh, you have to keep it's like contract based so it expires in 2 or 3 years mm. and then again you have to still find a position until you get a permanent position which is like professorship or mm. something unless they are really interested then postdoc is something otherwise it's better to go for the job and to start yeah. with it right yeah, yeah. and uh, for a phd in physics i mm. think it, it's still um, you still have a good demand also in the industry so that's also another you know a diverging path to consider mm-hmm. point i wanted to say most of the organizations here the ceos or phdns they're not just mba holders but phdns that's how in germany so phdns have really a great demand at the management level as well that's one thing which i want to say and uh, it's and just one other question is doing masters a good choice in uh, germany or what do you recommend if you can complete masters in india and come for research over here which is a better Uh, uh, play to go ahead. Yeah. The safe play would be to finish your masters in India and then come here for a PhD uh-huh. because um, in that way you directly come as an employee here, mm. so you have money that you can take care of yourself. Mm. But for masters, uh, you might have to end up doing part-time jobs and then still do your curriculum. So it can all be too daunting. And at the end, to get a PhD position, also you might have to wait for some time until then. You have to keep working to you know feed yourself. So yeah. I think PhD would be a safe option. That is really nice. And what are the universities you would recommend for people in the field of physics? Because you are from physics, so might be any particular university. I mean, all public universities are equally good, like Heidelberg. And we also have uh, other than the uni- uh, universities, even there are quite good research institutes like Max Planck, mm. and even in Hamburg we have Daisy, which mm. also um, like recruits PhD students. So any mm. public university, for that matter, in Germany, it's like would be a good. choice to pick <laughs> and vidya is also worked with along with in cern right uh, no i'm uh, <laughs> working with cern <laughs> like my um like we have collaboration meetings at cern so that's the best part of phd you get to travel a lot like you have collaboration meetings every other month or conferences so you have opportunities to travel across and still present your work so in that way you also get chances to go to like um reputed institutes like cern and yeah so other in- yeah other institutes <laughs> i think that's all we have to we have today to share with you guys and uh, doing phd in germany is a real yes yeah i would highly recommend that <laughs> yeah <laughs> so thank you all if you have any questions you can just write it in the comments that would we would answer and we go through all your comments and we will reply back to it and also we give the links below so that you can go through where you can apply for this so that would be really uh, helpful if possible we will share with you all linkedin um profile link as well that would be helpful so subscribe to culture connect and let's come back with much more better information later thank you all yeah. thank Bye. you vidya you're okay, welcome one question yeah you are in hamburg <laughs> So do you like the city Hamburg? Oh, I love the city. It's as you can see, that's the port, and uh, it's such a uh, vibrant and. <laughs> This is a place for her creativity with port, and also you hear the <laughs> sea morning every day. She's yeah, you can listen to the water splashing and things like that. So Hamburg is a really nice city, <laughs> as uh, for people of all um, ages. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah. yeah. that's it and thanks for being our tour guide in hamburg as <laughs> well <laughs> my pleasure yeah. and we wanted to really bring vidya's uh, po- uh, interview section over here because i felt it's real she's one of the resourceful person i felt and we wanted to share it with you all might be it's useful for people who are in uh, want to wanted to do your master uh, phd and thinking whether to take masters or go for phd so this would be some of the useful information we felt we will share it so thank you all soon to be doctor vidya yeah, yeah hopefully <laughs> <laughs> in few months <laughs> yeah the next year yeah next year definitely yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you thank, thank you. you bye <laughs>